you're looking at the hottest skincare product right now. This is snail mucin. From a snail! You see that glue? It's snail slime. And some people are even taking it a step further. It tickles. Yuck, not dermatologist approved. But is it just a myth or does it actually help your skin? And how is mucin extracted from snails? Snail slime has actually been used for centuries in Europe to treat wounds. It made its way to North America about a decade ago, but it's been a popular ingredient in South Korean skincare for a long time. Now, the snail skincare industry is worth 4 billion. This dermatologist says slime is a great moisturizer because it has hyaluronic acid, so it soothes dry skin. It also has glycolic acid that can help exfoliate the skin. But when it comes to anti anti-aging and clearing acne scars. I don't think the science has shown that yet. She says that's because not a lot of research is being done to prove these qualities. The evidence is mostly anecdotal, so there's not enough information about the possible side effects. When making these products, companies typically extract the mucin by stressing the snails, either by prodding them with something sharp or drowning them in salt water. Both methods are controversial. This Italian company says it's created a process where it can extract slime from the snails without killing them, at least not right away. Basically, they build these pots and they drop 40 pounds of snails into them. Then the director of the company says a non-toxic acidic solution is sprayed on the snails. That triggers the release of slime. After about three or four rounds, the snails are euthanized and their intestines are used to make fancy dishes. I call this machine spa per chiocciole. But not everyone agrees with the spa for snails description. They're not enjoying it. That's why they're making all that slime. It's like triggering a response. Would you use snail slime or is it already part of your skincare routine?